Imagine the unthinkable. What if data-driven education was actually harming instead of helping our kids? Data? Driven? Education? It sounds modern and promising, right? But what if it's actually setting our kids back, particularly in human development? Studies are showing a disturbing trend. The more data-focused designs, the more positive developmental outcomes plummet. It's what the data say. Worse still, behavioral issues seem to have multiplied too. Sure, proponents will blame learning losses on everything else but what they're selling. Did we need the data to tell us that reducing our children to numbers and stats is literally preventing them from becoming, as Abraham Maslow would say, more fully human? Someone had to say what we've all been thinking and observing with our own eyes for far too long. That in spite of the many bumper stickers and groupthink slogans being pushed on us. It is humans that should be leading human education, not data. Educators and parents and anyone else who truly cares about how children turn out, please lead our children's learning again. All of us should be free to think honestly and critically about anything that just isn't working. After all, the best science begins when honest individuals begin questioning the old science. Albert Einstein said it this way, doing the same things in the same way and expecting a different result is, well, it's not science. And those who would sacrifice our children's human development for data collection, simply to gain more federal dollars or to benefit another Silicon Valley billionaire, probably shouldn't be involved in childhood education or be allowed near our children. If educating young people is a calling for you, let this be a call for educators to lead again, not to blindly follow data or any other inanimate objects. Heroes, trust yourselves and lead the science. Our children's future and subsequently every community's future is depending on you.